Hi friends, this is Melissa Alabdi. Today I want to invite you to open your Bibles to our first scripture reading, Romans chapter 8, verses 26 through 39. Hear the word of the Lord. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we know not how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with a sigh too deep for words. And God who searches the heart knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God. We are all called according to his purpose. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn within a large family. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. God's love in, Jesus, in Christ Jesus. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He, will not, he who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Jesus Christ who died. Yes, who was raised. Who is at the right hand of God? Who intercedes for us? Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sore? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long we are counted as sheep to be slaughtered no in all these things that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us for i'm convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor things present nor things to come nor powers nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of god in christ jesus our lord Thanks be to God. Amen.